Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if this is your first time. Um, I'm going to do another comparison video. So this one is uh, about dark skies. So I started astrophotography a little over three years ago. Uh, I've always shot from my backyard. I live outside of Los Angeles, and so my backyard is a solid Bortle 9. And I've always shot from the backyard. I bought Chroma. Uh, narrow band filters, three three nanometer filters to help cut down with the light pollution. And up until last December, the only place I've imaged from was my backyard. And a friend of mine, Chris Ralph, he talked me into to getting out of the backyard and, and going out to finding dark sites. So last December I started. That was my first time going out. And I went to uh, Zabrinsky Point which is up by Death Valley. And that was the first dark sky place I've ever imaged from outside the backyard, and it, it changed everything. I haven't imaged from my backyard since then. I've just been a traveler now. You know, we travel out to Red Rock, been to Red Rock a bunch of times, which is like two hours north of Los Angeles. Love that place. Nice location. You can do hiking and stuff during the day, so if you're there for a couple of days. Uh, like I said, I've been to Zabrinsky Point up in Death Valley. Um, my other favorite spot in Death Valley so far is uh, Father Crowley. And that place is dark. Um, I have a sky quality meter, so I measure all the places I go to. And uh, Father Crowley is 21.8. That's the closest I've been to a, a total Bortle 1, which is 22. So 21.8 is pretty close. It's just inside Bortle 1. Uh, Red Rock is Bortle 4, borderline uh, Bortle 3, it comes in about 21.20, 21.25, right right in that range. Uh, Zabrinsky Point, which I thought was going to be a lot darker, I think it was only 21.35, but you're kind of high, so you're getting a lot of the sky glow from Vegas. But anyway, so I'm rambling on. I'm going to do, do a whole series on trying to find the darkest places in California to image from. So look for that series coming up. But anyway, so this is a comparison between my backyard, which is Bortle 9 17.20, uh, and then Red Rock, which is 21.20, 21.25, right around there. So the first one here is, this is M33. This is the stacked image. This is the one from Red Rock. So M33. This is, I gotta look at my notes here because I can't remember all that stuff. These are 182nd subs. I had 25 of them. So this is 25 minutes of total integration time. 25 minutes. So you see that. Now, same target, my backyard, almost exactly a year apart. The This one here, that's from... October, October 14th, I believe, is when we went up to there. This was September 22nd of last year. This one here is, I can only do 30 seconds, otherwise I just get blown out from light pollution. And these are chroma filters, so these are pretty much the best you can get. Shot with, okay, yeah, let me explain. Shot with all the same scope, it was a Stellar View SVX 102 with a ASI 2600 monochrome, obviously if I'm using filters. And now my dog always has to get in the video every time. Okay, so back to the image here. So this one here is 30 seconds, 230 of them. So it's 115 minutes. This one here was 75 minutes. Pretty big difference. So do dark skies matter? Absolutely. So yeah, 115 minutes, 75 minutes. All right, let's go to the next comparison here. This one is, all right, HA data. This one is, this is from a backyard. This one is, this one's good, because this is three nanometer filters, but this is the stacked image. And these are, gotta look at my notes again down here. 
all 300 seconds. That's what I do for those and the ones that read rough. So my HA data, 300 second images or 300 second subs. And I had, uh, let me look down here, 300. These are 129 300 second subs. So that's 645 minutes to get this much HA. Check this out. Now the, the orientation's different because my I've rotated my imaging train since then. But see that they're pretty close. It's not bad. You can get you can get good uh, narrow band images from Bordel 9. Just do it on when the moon's not shining. And these were all done on new moon new moon weekends, new moon weeks, whatever, because I was shooting from home, I was able to image every day. But now that I'm a traveler, I just go, you know, for the new moon, that's it. So I'm only imaging once a month now, but to me, it's worth it. So anyway, okay, so let me get, so these ones are 300 second subs, 15 300 second subs from a Bortle 4 3. So 70, 75 minutes here compared to 645 minutes. That's 10 hours, almost 11 hours on this one and just over an hour on this one. That's no comparison. I mean, that's insane. All right, let's go to the next one. And what is this one? This is, okay, this is red data. Now, of course, the stars get super bright when you're doing, uh, this is all broadband. So this is the red channel. Is that red? Yeah, this is the red channel. This one is from Red Rock, same night. This is from my backyard. Now, yeah, I get a gradients from the backyard, of course, because of light pollution. Up there is really no gradients up there at Red Rock. All right, let's get to the details. So this is stacked image. This is 40. This is 40, 120 second subs. So 80 minutes. Is that right? 80 minutes? Yeah, 80 minutes, 120 second. So obviously you can go longer when you're in dark skies, but your stars do get brighter. Over here, uh, 30 seconds, 224 30 second images. So that's 112 minutes compared to 80 minutes over here. That's a pretty big difference. Now, let's look at... What is this one? This is... Okay, yeah. So now we can compare a single, single sub. This is one single sub from Red Rock. One 300 second HA. One sub. Border 4. Almost 3. It's borderline. This is a single... 300 second sub from my backyard, Bortle 9. Little bit of a difference there. Crazy. So yeah, dark skies definitely do matter. Even doing narrow band. I mean, that's those are three nanometer filters. Probably the, I would say the best ones you can get. Astrodons, they say are the same. I think they used to be made by the same company back in the day. I don't even know if Astrodons are still around anymore. But yeah, pretty good comparison. So, you can do it from a Bortle 9. Um, broadband, it's... Broadband is so tough. I mean, I was doing 30-second images, I think, by the time I was done. I think I was even down to doing 10-second images, just because, I mean, you see how much light pollution you get there. Right, which one was it? This one? Yeah, I mean, the gradients, just from the light pollution, is it's insane. So anyway, just a quick comparison video. And yeah, I'm going to be doing a video series here on uh, on uh, the quest for 22, you know, looking for those, the darkest skies in California. So the darkest I've found so far is 21.8. Uh, I'm going to keep searching until I get that 22. All right. If you like this kind of stuff, give me a thumbs up. 
go and subscribe to the channel you know and it's a small channel it's starting to grow if it grows it grows if not hey i don't care i just do this for the fun of it right, another let me give a quick plug agena astro they're probably the best the best supply company out there in my opinion of course everyone has their own you know i used to buy all my stuff from high point scientific because when you're buying expensive stuff you want to try and save money where it used to be you didn't have to pay tax shipping to california now the irs is probably going to come to my house but yeah i used to buy stuff from high point scientific so you didn't pay tax on it free shipping like they all do free shipping but as soon as they started charging tax i started looking around and found a gina astro turns out they're really close to my house they're right down the street you can do wheel call they don't have a, a storefront so you kind of just can't go in and shop around but if you call get your order you can go pick it up i'd say within less than an hour i've i pick it up while i'm at work so i've been on a job site called hey do you have this in stock yeah we got it okay i'll be there to pick it up in an hour go there pick it up it's there walk in pick it up you're out anyway okay just a plug for agena anyway they're awesome people so uh, that's all I got. Um, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for stopping by.